Carolina Insider. It's presented by Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics. And brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Ford. Ford, built for victory. Built for the Carolinas. Contact your Carolina Ford dealer today. And by Hardison and Cochran, attorneys at law. 919 all fours. Hello again and welcome to the Carolina Insider and man it's great to be back with you and it's great to be able to talk a little Tar Heel football after a long break. The Heels back on the field against Boston College and picked up the big road win over the Eagles to move to 2-0 and on the season. We're going to have highlights of that victory plus postgame reaction as well. Also, an interview with Brian Anderson, the starting center on that Tar Heel offensive line. Had a lot of fun chatting with Brian earlier this week. I think you'll enjoy that conversation. And as always, we'll take a drive around social media as well and get you caught up on a bunch of different storylines around Tar Heel athletics. But let's start with some highlights. Back to the first half, Carolina and Boston College in Chestnut Hill. We'll tell you about the safeties in a second as Hal rolls to the near side, lets it go, caught Corrales, first down at the 25-yard line. Hal bought time with his legs, then planted and ripped one back to the middle of the field. It's on their first drive of the game and no score. Hal, good pocket to throw, complete over the middle. Choffrey Brown steps through a tackle and steps to the end zone for the touchdown. Caught it on a slant, middle of the field at about the five. Stepped right through the intended tackle of Elijah Jones. Hal brings Newsom in a motion from right to left, and he's going to throw. Dumps it off over the middle. Deami Brown at the 50. Brown makes a man miss. He's at the 35. Caught from behind, crossing over the 30. Play clock at two as Hal claps his hands again and just gets the snap off. Has time to throw. Now Hal will run. A lot of room right side. Over the 21st down, over the 15, and tripped up over the 10 as Hal gets to the 8. And Carolina is now 4 for 4 on third down. Good block on the play by Garrett Walston, Tar Heel tight end. With Javante Williams to his right. He's going to give it to the big back who just plunges in for the touchdown. Not a lot you can do about that, Jones, when you give it to Javante Williams behind that left side of that O-line with just two yards to go. Six plays and another touchdown for the Heels who have gone touchdown, touchdown. Gets the shotgun snap. He will throw. Caught and knocked free. Caught originally and then knocked away by Morrison as he dove in and popped it out of the hands of Long. That would have been a first down at about the three. And the big third down here. Heels up one, 520 and counting. In the second quarter, it is third and six, and Hal will throw. Pressure coming, gets out of the pocket, coming down the near side. He has the first down with his feet as he skips into the B.C. sideline around the 30. Well, we have seen Hal pick up some big first downs on scrambles, and he does it again there. Hal will empty out the backfield, throw a swing pass to Javante Williams, far side, gets a good block by Walston to free him down the far sideline into B.C. territory near the 40. Boy, Walston cleared out two Eagles as Williams caught that swing pass and was off to the races. Michael Carter comes in, and he'll get the handoff, wraps around the left side. He's got a lot of space over the 40, 35, and knocked out of bounds as he gets close to the BC 30. And let's see where he stepped out. How looking to throw, cocks his arm. Now he's going to scramble, comes to the near side. St keeping the play alive, finds a streaking Javante Williams, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, magical play by Sam Howe for six. He scrambled to the right, looked like he was going to try and do it with his legs. Then he went parallel to the 40-yard line, whipped a little sidewinder to Williams, and he just went right up the center of the field for the touchdown. So 21-16 the score, Carolina with the lead, and the heels will... Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. Tyrone Hopper made the tackle for the heels on the last play. Gimmel chasing down Jerkovic. He just throws it wildly up into the air, and it's incomplete. 
as he just slung it. And it ended up falling incomplete on the far sideline. There was a receiver, David Bailey, in the area. Big third down here. Throw coming, and it was knocked away. I got excited because both McMichael and Surratt were there, along with Long, the tight end, the intended receiver at the numbers near side, and it was almost intercepted. 168 yards and two touchdowns. Quick hitter to Deami Brown at the 30. Keeps the play alive. He is hit hard out of bounds after the first down. He does get up okay, but he caught it at the 30 and carried some Eagles with him to the 35. Snap back, spot down. Atkins' kick is up, and it is right through there. So the Tar Heels get three points on the board to take an eight-point advantage, 24 to 16. So three consecutive 15-yard penalties on Boston College. Moves Carolina inside the 20. The Heels have to settle for a field goal. So the two-point conversion on the way. Jerkovic in the shotgun. Jerkovic with Garwo to his right. Three receivers to the near side of the field. Now Galloway goes in motion. That tight end longs on the right side of the line. Jerkovic in a play action. Pressure coming from Hopper. Jerkovic keeping the play alive and the pass intercepted. Intercepted by Morrison. Morrison heading down the field. He can score two on this play, and he's going to do it. Morrison with the pick, and 100 yards later, put some points on the board. Carolina's defense stands tall. Tyrone Hopper with the pressure on that play, Jones. Good to see the senior come to the middle, put the heat on Jerkovic. So that is two points for Carolina to make it (laughs) 26-22. It is never boring with the Tar Heels. Onside kick on the way. Steven Ruiz will be the man to kick it. And the ball is loose in the middle of the field. Both teams on it. Also got to wonder if there was contact before 10 yards there. As both teams on the ball, Carolina signaling pretty confidently that they have it, and they do. So the Tar Heels, in a scrum, recover the kick. Let's see who comes out of there with it. I still can't tell as BC is arguing the call. Never saw who came out of it at the end, Jones. Maybe Surratt, but unclear. Ruling on the field is the ball was recovered by number 21 of the receiving team. In North Carolina's ball, first down. So, Surratt does recover it in a mess. So many things went wrong tonight, Jones, <laughs> but still it is a four-point lead for the Tar Heels okay. unless something happens. Hal takes the knee. Let's see if BC takes its remaining timeout. What Don't a huge win. Will. Yeah, this is a good one. Good win on the road against an improved BC team and against a really good quarterback. I think Jerkovic has certainly made a statement at his position for the Eagles today, but Carolina did enough. 121 yards on the ground by Carter. Two touchdowns from Howe. Morrison with the pick two with the interception on the two-point conversion and running it back to give Carolina the four-point lead and the four-point final advantage. 26-22 will be the final score. Carolina outlast Boston College here in Chestnut Hill as the Heels were certainly in a fight all night long. The guys found a way to win it tonight, and, and that's, uh, that's progress. Uh, we were concerned about the three weeks off and, and having a sloppy game, and, and that's really what happened. Uh, we had way too many, entirely too many penalties on offense um, that, that just kill drives. Uh, we had an awful kicking game mistake, uh, and then defensively we, we gave up too many passing yards. Uh, on the good side, we did enough to win the game. When it, it came down to the end, Trey Morrison stepped up and made the play he had to. I thought when we kicked the field goal, uh, it, it would be a two-score game, and we were in good shape there. But when we pulled that to the left, it, it gave them an opportunity. Uh, give them credit. The quarterback played really, really well. The tight end's one of the best players I've ever seen. Uh, and little four is a really good player, and they've got some good backs in the offensive line. Four, of the, four out of their five 
returning starters uh, made some kind of award from from last year. So uh, Boston College got a good team. Their defense played well. Uh, so it was what we thought it would be. It was a very physical game on the road uh, that that came down to the end. And and um, thank goodness our guys made the plays they need to 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 win at the end of the game. Usually when you outrush the op opponent, uh, especially on the road, but mostly any time you you win the game is 176 to 40. So what we've got to do is improve what we're doing against the pass. Uh, they did a good job protecting after early, uh, but even when we got to him at, at 6'5", 230, uh, he's so hard to tackle that he made play and play and play again, or he got the ball out of his hand. So uh, quarterback's a really good player. He's changed this team completely, uh, and they've got good players around him. So uh, credit to them. They were The thing called Photoshop and filters, and Kobe, he's just messing with you. He's just messing with you. If you see Kobe out, in, out on the street, he'll still have the, that tr those trademark locks. These kids with their loud music and their Instagram filters, everything is wrong these days. All right. You can tell he's enjoying it, though, because he put out the first one and he oh, yeah. got enough feedback. He's like, I'm going to do that again tomorrow. <laughs> and so he did. No telling what's coming next. Let's go from basketball to men's tennis. And Adam, one of the most accomplished athletes in recent history at Carolina, Will Blumberg, is going to return to Chapel Hill and to Carolina for a fifth year. And that is great news for the men's tennis program. Man, it really is. As Blumberg's an eight-time All-America. He was the senior player of the year in college tennis this past year. He won the Patterson medal. He won a Rammy, for goodness sakes. And uh, the fact that he's able to come back is a big boost for Sam Paul's program. And also a, a nice reminder that the Rams Club's helping a lot of those fifth-year senior or fifth-year seniors come back for the spring semester. And a gift from Roy and Wanda Williams helped move that process along. A lot of Tar Heel spring sports going to be loaded this spring with talent that's able to come back and try to win a national championship again. Michael Carter, big personality on Michael. He was mic'd up on the practice field recently to get a little inside look and listen on what it's like to be Michael Carter as he goes through a traditional Carolina football practice. We wanted to show you some of the highlights of that now. Hey. Hey, y'all can hear me, bros? Yeah, y'all can hear me, man. Shout out to my family. <coughs> Give me that. Hey, Sam. It's your it it kind of fun, bro. Huh? It's your kind of fun. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but you know, so I'm not finna change. I might go. I want to love you. Hey, you want to position? Can't do it to me. You trying to get crappy, bitch. Mike Carter here, running back with Javante Williams. About to sign out. Uh, hope y'all enjoy me talking, you know. I know. So long, guys. Look at him. Can't wait to be back with you next week. And knock on wood, we'll be talking about another football game as the Tar Heels will be hosting Virginia Tech in Keenan Stadium next Saturday. Thanks again for joining us, and see you next week. Carolina Insider is presented by... Wells Fargo, official sponsor of Carolina Athletics, and brought to you by Coca-Cola. When you're stocking up for game day, be sure to grab a Coke with a friend. Together, taste better. Carolina Insider is produced by Go Heels Productions for Tar Heel Sports Properties, a property of Learfield IMG College.